Hey, thank you for checking out this 2002 Jaguar S-Type. Uh, this is from when Ford Motor Company owned Jaguar. Very standard 3.0 V6 motor, nothing kinky on this engine, very easy to maintain. My father bought it a few years back, he's in his early 80s, and time to uh, not own so many vehicles. Uh, undercarriage was done on the vehicle at about 99,000. You can see I was just showing the tires, good tires. Um, some of the things that were done, two sway bars, two control rods, two lower control arms, two upper control arms, two struts, and rebuilt the rear suspension. That back bumper, you notice those little dots. This does have the parking sensors when you're backing up. Uh, very fun vehicle to drive, handles very well, uh, turns on a dime, and feels very good driving. Getting good tires on the vehicle. Paint's not perfect, drives even better than it looks. I got a little peeling right there, and one of the trim pieces on the window is a little loose. Uh, very clean interior. I mean, this car smells fresh, never smoked in, never abused, uh, no sweat or, you know, sweaty gym bag smell. You can get odors like that in cars that are old. So it, my dad bought it about three or four years ago and just as a little fun car. Recently, as it just crossed over 100,000 miles, it had a full tune-up on it, new belt, AC's been charged up, it has a new battery. Doesn't look like anybody ever sat in this back seat. Very, very clean interior. We're gonna take a drive here in a little bit, but just kinda soak in how clean this vehicle looks. Good pride of ownership. You can see the window sticker here from 2002. British Racing Green. Originally retailed for $47,520. We're only asking $7,900. This vehicle doesn't sell quick. Uh, we may keep it or do something else with it. But anyhow, uh, fuel economy is very good in the vehicle. You know, 18 and 25 for your city and highway. These are the records. For the from some of the services I was just speaking about. Uh, George's Import did the tune-up here recently and a full vehicle inspection. Doug's Foreign Mortar Works, both very good shops. It just depends on who's scheduling when we could get the vehicle in there to, to do the work. Uh, last was looked at by George's Imports out in Martin City, Missouri. And Junior there will take a phone call to talk to you about the vehicle's condition. But this vehicle drives very well. You can see some of the prices on these records that we have to show you. It's not astronomical like a lot of people would assume on a Jaguar. Again, this is when Ford owned them. Very affordable parts. Reasonable maintenance. It's not your stereotypical Jaguar here. and drive so I'm using my GoPro camera not mic'd up so you can hear the sounds of the vehicle here uh, driving this vehicle to work for about a month or two just with the sold sign on it now some gets video action gets more looks on this vehicle to sell it nice and quiet the reputation of these vehicles of course you know Ford financed about everybody back in 2002 so a lot of homes took in these vehicles that didn't maintain them. 
as well. Look, it's been about 20 years old. This vehicle's about a classic now, and it's just tremendously clean. The materials have held up. There's no cracks in the dash. There's no cracks in the wood grain. Uh, it's got a couple minor little wear spots on the leather, which are not stains. They're just, you know, the cracks you get in leather over 20 years. But overall, it's had leather condition put on it. Very, very comfortable interior. We've got a couple things that will need to be worked on. The trunk switch, the pulley needs to be fixed on that. I've got a little damage on one of the AC vents right here. I'd say the car is perfect, but it's about as perfect as you can be after 20 years of use. No hesitation, perfectly smooth riding V6 motor with only 102,000 miles on it. Think about a pre-owned vehicle, it's more about the person who owned it before than the brand. Again, Ford makes a lot of good vehicles if they're one car owner and they've been well maintained. Uh, now, when you're talking about some of these really kinky German vehicles and, uh, you know, Jaguars and Land Rovers, English now owned by India vehicles that try and superpower these vehicles, yeah, that's when you're going to get into vehicles with problems at 5,000 miles on them sometimes, 10,000 miles. But this is a tried and true V6 motor that's in this vehicle. Again, readily available parts, cheap parts, plenty of Ford mechanics out there that know how to work on these very easily. Underneath the hood, you saw how easy it was to look at everything and get to everything. Acceleration on the side road here. I like the way this vehicle drives, you know? Take it to the golf course, go out for a movie night. You know, you have a gas guzzling SUV. This makes it a little nice little secondary vehicle you can do as a little runabout vehicle, have a little fun in. All right, here's the circle drive. I'm gonna go all around the way this, on this puppy. got this big open lot since we're in the middle of a global car shortage and I've got no cars and uh, you're just not gonna find this kind of quality for under ten thousand dollars in this market right now so don't talk to me about the Kelly Blue Book says there's no 90-day record of 2002 Jaguars with 102,000 mile sales for them to extract any information from it's only showing like three or four grand on that, but this car is not worth three or four thousand dollars. It's a beautiful driving vehicle. AC blows great, heater works great, heated seats work great. Don't pass this up, let somebody else buy it.